how can you do lead conversion as an agent in just one hour a day? It's Mike Novak from the Novak Real Estate Team, part of Real Brokerage. I've done 60 minute webinars on this exact topic. I'm gonna try and condense it into a super short video for you so you can just get the, the most dense parts of this and the most actionable steps that you can go implement right away without having to listen to a full 60 minute video or webinar on how to do this. But um, I am my own ISA. I do not have an ISA. I am my own ISA. And I sell between 70 and 80 homes a year in the market just north of Seattle in Homish County. So I set a lot of appointments and I do that while still not spending three or four hours a day on the phone. I wanna share with you kind of the formula I've used and figured out over the last five years to be able to do this. First of all, the number one thing that I focus on is what's called speed to lead. I wanna make sure that I reach out to a new lead as fast as humanly possible. I have auto responders on my pay-per-click leads. My Zillow and Realtor.com leads rings my phone instantly. I just pick it up as fast as possible and I'm racing other agents on my team to try to get to those leads as quickly as I possibly can and be of service to those people. So speed to lead absolutely matters. You need to catch people when they're the modality and thinking about buying a house not when they've shifted on to playing with their kids or making dinner or something else. Speed to lead absolutely matters. You need to be fast to get into the phone. Speed to response is the second one I wanna talk about. Speed to response means that when someone engages you, you engage them back. So if someone texts, responds to one of your auto action plans, you need to be jumping on it with the speed to lead type response. So two minutes, three minutes max, you've got that person's attention, you take that attention and you need to run with it. You can't afford a 30 minute or a 60 minute delay to get back to these people. This is where it's really important to have a mobile app for your CRM. We use CRM Interactive, so we're completely mobilized and able to continue those conversations as we're on the go using talk to text and things like that. The third thing that you need to do is you need to make sure you clear your inbox in the morning, keep it cleared throughout the day. We call this inbox zero. This is really important. It just takes maybe half an hour in the morning to make sure you've responded to everybody that came overnight, that you've reached out to your new leads and all of your property inquiries, all of your emails are responding to, all your texts are responding to. You've gotten back to everyone and now you're gonna maintain that inbox zero throughout the day. And again, you do that when you have a mobile app because you're on the go as an agent a lot, right? You're not just sitting in the office waiting for the phone to ring. You're out there showing clients, you're doing buyer consultations, doing listing appointments, and you need to be able to be uh, responsive to people as they're engaging with you. So um, making sure you maintain inbox zero is super, super important to doing that. The fourth thing I wanna talk about, and this is counterintuitive, you need to disqualify people faster, okay? So your time is important. If you're trying to spend your time on everyone, you're spending your time on no one effectively, okay? I know that about 95% of leads are probably not going to convert into a transaction for me. So I need to disqualify people as fast as humanly possible and go find those 5% people I know are qualified to do something and make sure I'm talking to those people. So I will jump right into questions about the current living situation, making sure I understand their current payment, how much money they've saved up for a down payment to buy a house, things like that. I'm just trying to drive payment relevancy between what they're paying now and what they'd be paying to actually own a home in my market. Uh, number five, you need to commit to a con conversion structure that really does work. Too many people are too transactional in their conversion structure. I wanna share with you the exact framework I use that allows me to connect with the person at a person human to human level, and then also still get the appointment done. So the first thing is motivation. I wanna make sure I understand exactly what they're looking for in their next home. And the way you do that is when you pick up the phone from Zilla, you just say, hey, it's Mike Novak from the Novak Real Estate Team. I just got your request for 123 Main Street. I want to reach out to you and see if you're thinking about making a move now or in the near future. I'm bypassing the house and I'm shifting right to their motivation by doing an intro just like that. Okay, so that's motivation. The second one is their current living situation. What I mentioned this earlier in the video, but where are they currently living and does that make sense to actually buying a house? I know that if our average payment on market is $3,500 a month, for a 5% down mortgage, that someone paying $1,200 a month in rent is going to struggle mightily to buy a house. And so I need to be able to flush that out as fast as possible. The third thing to talk about is experience. What has this person been doing to prepare themselves to buy a home beyond just looking at houses online? That's gonna tell you if they have got an agent, if they've been out touring homes, just going to open houses, maybe they've gotten pre-approved. It's a very open-ended question. It's gonna lead you all sorts of different places depending on what the person's actually been doing to get ready to buy a home, okay? Uh, the house then comes next. Notice we're just into the house now that we've gotten through all those other things. What are they looking for? What are the features they need? What are the must-haves? What are the nice-to-haves? What are the locations they're open to? 
and then game plan. What is the game plan from here? Well, of course, we're gonna sit down with you for 15 to 20 minutes. We're gonna walk you through the home buying process from start to finish, get you up to speed on the market, make sure that we've identified at a super deep granular level exactly what we're looking for, and then my team and I are gonna get out there and go find it for you. So I'm very articulate about the game plan, and then I close it and set the appointment, okay? So you need to make sure that you explain to people on the phone or in text exactly why this meeting is occur occurring and what they're gonna get out of meeting with you, okay? So that's the conversion structure, motivation, current living situation, experience, house, game plan, appointment set. Follow that and you will win more often than not. Number six, leverage automation. So you don't have time to manually follow up with everybody. I always coach the agents in my team to try to limit their manual follow-ups to 50 or less people. Just the most qualified, most committed people possible. Anyone else, throw them on an automated follow-up plan. The automated follow-up plans are set for one month, two months, three months, six months, and so on intervals. They include a voicemail drop, they include a text, they include an email as well. They have about a 70% response rate, so it's much more consistent than most of us agents when it comes to making follow-ups. So try to limit your manual follow-ups to 50 or less, and you're gonna be in great shape to actually make sure you're converting your most ready to go people. The seventh and final thing is targeted dials. You need to make sure that when you're calling, you're calling very intentional lists of people. You're not just dialing the masses. That's not a very effective strategy. I don't believe in just calling hundreds of people each day. I'm gonna call people that are high intent, that have shown me they're maybe raising their hand and they're, they're ready to go do something now. I'm trying to catch people when they move from that information collection phase to the home buying decision-making phase. In that gap is the opportunity that you need to find. And so the way that I do that is I use alerts on our CRM and they tell me when the person's looked at the property a certain amount of times, when they've been quiet, come back to the um, website after a certain period of time, things like that. So I'm looking for these behavioral based notifications through CRM Interactive, our CRM, to tell me this person should be reached out to. And I just reach out to them and make sure that I can connect with them at a very human to human level using the conversion framework I just used with you. And the last thing I want to talk about is when in doubt, pick up the frickin' phone and be default aggressive. Um, Jocko Willink from Extreme Ownership, Navy SEAL, he has a default aggressive mindset on everything he does. He talks about this in his books, in his podcasts, and this should be your mindset when it comes to lead conversion. Default aggressive no matter what. It doesn't matter if you're gonna piss some people off. Your If your default is aggressive, you're gonna win more often than not and then the couple people that are frustrated with you who really cares about those people, all right? So just to recap, speed to lead, speed to response, inbox zero, disqualify faster, commit to the conversion framework, leverage automation, and targeted dials. Do those things, do them well, and you'll be well on your way to converting in one hour a day or less. It's Mike Novak from the Novak.